I hope you enjoy this video. Please check out the playlist, Evidence for Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. I'll leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. So I bought these three different kinds of strawberry seeds here from David Seeds. And I got this off of Amazon. Now each, each of these say that they are hard to germinate. So strawberries are not easy to germinate. And this one says that uh, they're not for new beginners. Even experienced people have a hard time getting them to germinate. And this one says it is uh, not easy to germinate. So it's uh, these three brands. So mine not, mine not, Magne, 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 Magne. Anyway. Here's the three different brands. I'm not going to try to pronounce that first one, but uh, the Alexandria and the Red Wonder, and then whatever this first one is. I'm going to try it in my hydroponic herb garden, see if that actually works. Since they're hard to germinate, and I'm <clears throat> looking at the reviews, they confirm that yes, they are hard to germinate. So, I wanted to see if this makes it easier using the hydroponic herb garden to get them to germinate. I am using the Aero Garden Hydroponic Herb Garden, and it's a six pod one. So I'm gonna put, uh, since I have three, I'm gonna make you know two for each uh, kind, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put two seeds into each pod for the for the kinds that I plant there, and I got all my labels and. I'm going to get this filled and get back to you. So just starting with that one that I can't pronounce and look at how tiny those seeds are. Alright they are in there and I'm excited to see if this works. I actually ended up putting three seeds per pod in there and it says that this could take up to up to six weeks to germinate. So I hope this works out good and this can help somebody else decide to use a uh, a hydroponic herb garden to germinate their strawberries since they're so hard to get going I guess um, and I will get back to you as soon as I start to see some results so I started these on April 11th and today is April 19th and let me show you what I got on this one the little tiny green things on the red wonders also found some of these are coming up It is now April 23rd. So it took 12 days total to get uh, sprout showing in each one of these pods. There you go. I guess I'm an expert. So it's now May 2nd. And this is what they look like right here. They're finally starting to reach the top of these containers. Uh, peeled the label off so that the so that it wouldn't get in the way but every little pod's got one growing at least here's what they look like on May 10th and I'm going to transplant one of each variety to a flower pot and so I'm going to transplant this one this one and that one uh, that way it gives more room for these others to grow in here and uh, just kind of compare how the flower pot ones do compared to the uh, herb garden so here's what the pods look like outside, and I'm going to take the entire sponge out and uh, stick it into these flower pots that I have prepared for it. All right, so there's the transplanted ones. How do they look? And these are the three that I got left. I just put some empty pods in the holes just as fillers so they wouldn't be open. So it's now May 25th, and these are the plants in the herb garden, and they're doing great. And here's the ones that I put in the flower pots. Not doing that as good as the ones in the herb garden, but not bad either. It's now June 2nd, and look at how much better the ones in the hydroponic herb garden are doing compared to the ones that I put in the flower pot. I don't know if it's something that I did, or if this is just the way they are going to act when put into a flower pot, but uh, <clears throat> I had them on a window seal. I don't know if it's too much sun, too warm. I don't know what's going on with these guys. But these guys right here are just doing amazing. 
And no strawberries yet. No blooms either. But uh, they're looking quite nice. All right, it's June 6th and we got our first flower there. Uh, it's on the Red Wonder down there. It is July 7th and this strawberry plant has just taken off in the hydroponic herb garden. There's flowers everywhere and even, look at that, tiny little strawberries growing. Oh yeah, down there you can see one. So it's definitely growing strawberries. Now the ones that I put in the flower pot, they are exactly the same. They barely changed any. So there's the ones in the flower pot. Alright, so here's the first strawberry. I went ahead and picked it. It um, looked like it started to wilt. Uh, didn't really get very big. But I got another one over here from the same uh, same strawberry bush here from the one that I can't pronounce that's even bigger. It's not ready yet. Alright, so the one that was over here is July 20th. I went ahead and picked it. I just pulled on a little bit and it came off. Um, so let's, uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see. <laughs> yummy, Daddy. Tastes yeah. a little different. Is that yummy? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try a piece? Yeah. Daddy. Definitely a different flavor. I want to play. Was it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> it's now July 24th and I have my first Red Wonder that is done. Give it a shot. All right, got my official taste tester here. I'm gonna give it a shot first. Yeah. That's such a unique texture. Is it good? Yeah. I mean, it tastes like a strawberry. That one's not very sweet, but. And I was doing some digging and just noticed that, hey, right there. My Alexandria's got its first uh, strawberry growing, so we'll be able to eat that one soon, but I am going on vacation also, so I hope it doesn't uh, rot away on the plant while I'm in, on vacation, and it'll actually still be there when I'm back, so we will see. Okay. So it's July 27th, and here's our Alexandria strawberry. I'm going to go ahead and... Pull it off and we'll give it a try. What, Daddy? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you ready to eat it? Flower, Daddy. Is there a flower? Yeah. All right, got my official taste tester here. Mm. I'm trying it too. Is it yummy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, that one has kind of a blueberry taste to it. <laughs> That's the thing about these uh, little strawberries is the, the texture kind of threw me off at first. But now that I think about it, it's kind of a blueberry texture that they have. Interesting. So, all right, there we go. Blueberry right there. Yeah, those are strawberries. Yeah. And uh, so, this was fun. Um, the hydroponic herb garden works great. They didn't get very big, the strawberries growing them in this. Uh, and the ones I transplanted to the flower pot still aren't growing. They're alive, but still not growing, which is weird. So, um, that's pretty much it. I uh, showed you all the way from planting to actually eating them. And I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you want to connect with me, I have a public group on MeWe called Share Your Trade. I'll leave a link of that in the description. And also, if uh, you want to support my channel, you can join Robinhood through a link that I'll leave in the description. And we'll both get a free stock. Thanks for watching.